Hello? Guido? Okay, it looks like Guido is not going to be joining me here in the total tank simulator dimension. I think that guy's always had a fear of tanks, to be honest, so it kind of makes sense that he's not here. And- uh, Ah! Steve, it sounds like you're the one with the fear of tanks. No, dude, I only yelled just now because you jump-scared me. Jeez, don't do that. What on earth are you doing in that tank anyway? You know that is my personal property. Step aside, buddy. But well, it looked so fun in there, Steve. Say, what does this button do? Ah, all right, Guido. Despite nearly losing my legs from that explosion, you've also caused a much worse problem. We actually have to do some work. So right now, Guido, as you can see, we are in a simulation of my world, of Earth. One of the many wars that have happened in my time. Now, in this particular one, I am part of the USA. I am Second Lieutenant Steve. What the heck? Second Lieutenant? Yeah, sorry, dude. Somebody had to be the first lieutenant. And they chose you? Are these people insane? Uh, <laughs> You know what, never mind. So we start off on the left here, and I presume we'll be working our way all to the right to this mighty big battle at the end. So buddy, here we are in our very first battle in some place called Safi. It looks like we're fighting the Germans, and I think each of these places here is a point of interest for us to take. Oh yes, it says right here, point of interest is a place which units fight for. Well, let's go for this nice pond over here. The battle for the mighty pond. Now we only have, I believe, one tank right now. Oh no, we have a few. Oh, are those the enemy tanks right there? I actually think they are. Oh, those things look deadly. Oh my gosh, I zoomed in way too far. Yeah, those things look like a real issue for us. I can't tell exactly what type of tank they are right now, but they look pretty deadly to say the least. All right, well, let's go ahead and use our Stuart tanks here. Can I just, uh, oh yeah, I've just got a place around this point of interest, I believe. Now, we only have 8,500 points to spend, so we want to make sure we're doing things very varied here. We'll get some of these artillery guns behind the town. Oh, we can get a little minefield here as well. Let's get a few mines right on the front border here, and hopefully they'll just go, like, trundling straight over these, and we'll blow up. Oh, we can also get a fighter plane as well. This is amazing. So those things are going to be doing uh, gunning runs, I guess. What are these as well? A Greyhound armed with a small cannon or a machine gun. Effective against stationary units. Interesting. M32 finds and repairs damage. Now that could be very useful. Having a few repair vehicles right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to commence this battle here. Okay, let's see it go down. So uh, the planes are soaring in. How do I get back? Oh, there we go. We can kind of watch this battle go down. So these guys, I think we're just blasting away at my planes. Like, oh, they just shot them down. Not good. Let's see how my tanks are doing. My tanks are kind of rolling in everywhere. It looks like we've taken down... Actually, that might be us. Okay, so we're all firing here. Oh, look at the top. You can see our overall strength, I believe. I do wonder if I should have put more armored cars down because right now we only have one. But look at this. You can see all of our rounds are kind of... Oh, if I don't just go pile driving straight into the ground nose first. As you can see, we are managing to cut through their front line here, but it is still neck and neck. Yeah, I can see a lot of explosions on both sides. And right now, as I said, it is pretty much neck and neck and they've got a plane too. But it looks like we have at least a few right here. I don't remember putting those guys down, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got some tanks right here. Looks like the repair vehicle is helping out. Excellent. And it looks like we are going charging in right over this hill. This is awesome. So all we have to do apparently is kill the enemy. Sounds simple enough. Okay, so these guys are kind of rotating around here. I don't see anyone over here. Where are the enemy right now? Let's go ahead and get an overhead shot right here. Oh, it looks like there's a battle for this hill. Let's see if my uh, my Stuart can actually manage to take him down. Come on, guys. Yes, good job. We've got more of them over here, and it actually looks like there are less of us than there are of them. Oh, that is not good. Look at that. Our bar is almost completely empty. But this has been a learning experience. Of course, a few people lost their lives, but isn't every learning experience like that? Yeah, I don't think as many people die during my learning experiences. All right, what's going on over here? It looks like we've got a big collision on the opposite side of this hill, but relatively, the uh, enemy bar has stayed the same. Oh, I think that was an armored truck. While our ours has dwindled all the way to the bottom. In fact, oh yeah, I believe it is just our, yep, yeah, just our artillery cannons left. And that is us wiped out. Okay, okay. They did have more units than us, and we didn't use anywhere near as many funds as them. So I guess we're going to have to go ahead and do a rematch, unless 
Can we move on to the next one? No, we can't. All right, this time, Guido, we are going to spend as many of these points as we can. Let's just get a bunch of Stuarts straight down here. Just a line going all the way across. And I think already we spent... Uh... <laughs> Almost more than we did last time, but we seriously need to be stacked up here So let's go ahead and get some more artillery. Hopefully these guys will be able to deal with the planes Recovery vehicles. We need at least a couple of these the mines I think were quite useful So let's put one of these on both sides and this hill actually seemed quite advantageous for the enemy there So let's put that right there. We will get the fighter planes again Let's just put a couple of these bad boys up high in the sky and not enough money for anything else Have we done enough? Have we done enough? to actually win this battle. I guess we're about to find out. I want to follow these planes here just because I want to see them actually go into battle. Also, Guido, did you know we can actually control them? Oh my gosh, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely a bad idea. Okay, yeah, but that's something to bear in mind. The fact that we can actually control and possess tanks if we want. We can hop straight into the driver's seat and check it out. Unfortunately, we just crashed that thing straight away. So maybe not such a great idea. I tell you what, let's go ahead and get into uh, this one right here and see if we can help out. Okay, so shoot at the blue. Avoid the other guys. Move out the way. Oh, I think that was actually a friend. Okay, let's start popping up them there. We're all very close together. That might be why we're uh, kind of failing here. Oh, they've got a plane. I'm going to target the plane if I can. Dude, it's going to be so hard to hit that plane. Come on. Oh, gosh, he's so far away. Don't think we're going to be able to do anything with that. Oh, sorry, I kind of backed into that guy. And apparently I got hit. Oh, my gosh, look at me and my tank friends just charging in. Okay, so we've got a repair tank right there. Maybe I should get close to that guy or something. Okay, what's going on right here? Oh, is that an enemy tank? I think that's just, just a shell of one. Yeah, that thing is just completely damaged. Okay, it's a shell. Let's see what we can see on the other side of this hill. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this time we have control of the hill, but we're not doing a really great job at actually hitting these guys. I'm trying to desperately hit them. I'm being repaired. There we go. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to aim. Um, no, I want to kind of fall back this way. Am I facing the wrong way? Is that what's going on? Is my cannon, like, facing the opposite direction? These guys, once again, have an advantage on us. I think it's the bunker. I think from the... Oh, I think from the bunker. Those guys can actually... Oh, jeez, I got hit. No, this is not good. No. Come on. I need to pop that guy. Come on. Yes. Uh-oh. Mora coming over the hill. I've backed into all these tank shells right there. Oh, he's so weak, dude. I think I'm one of the only tanks remaining. This is, uh, yeah, this is less than ideal. Okay. Come on. I need to pop that guy. Oh, I'm low health. Okay. I need to heal up. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. They've got a bunch around them. Am I... Am I literally the last tank? I may well be, but this time, I think we did a little bit better. I mean, my artillery are still alive. Okay, if we can go ahead and possess an artillery, that would be great. Is there someone over here we can... Oh, gosh, which way am I facing? Which way are all my are all my units? I think they're over here, right? Wait, these are anti-air guns. Or what are they called? Anti-air or something like that? Oh, it's a neutral one. Okay, um, so I guess I can't possess those guys. Where are my dudes? Friends? Where are they? Oh my gosh, a plane just went crashing down. I actually think that was an enemy plane. Oh, it's neck and neck. Look at this. Oh, there's a tank right there. If I can possess that tank, that would be fantastic. Come on. Come on now. Yes, I'm in the tank. Okay, so they've got like a plane right there. Maybe I need to shoot the plane. Come on. Blast them. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to hit them. If I can pull off this shot, it will be the greatest thing ever. Unfortunately, he's just out of my range there, I think. Okay. Are there any tanks around us? It might literally just be that plane left. Can I repair? Yes, I can repair. Excellent. I'm self-repairing. Cool. I literally think that ta that plane is the last thing remaining. Oh, here we go. I'm in my anti-aircraft mode. Come on. Come on. I just need to line land a perfect shot here. Oh, he's going down, I think. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. He's very close to the ground. So if I go ahead and do... No, I can't aim that high enough. I need to wait for him to do another sweep. Uh, the only thing is I don't really see him right now. There he is. Okay. My gosh. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, there I am. Cool. Let's aim. Oh, he's still out of my out of my position. So he must have an AA gun as well. Oh, is it running out of fuel or something? Oh, it's frowning at me. No. Hit. I hit, I think. No. It blew me up. Okay, who's left? Who's left to defend against this guy? And maybe I shouldn't be the one control... What the heck? No. This plane is just dominating us. Is it? Uh-oh. An AA gun is all the way over here. He's in cover. Wait, is that just a dude? Was that just a dude just stood there? I think it was. This plane has crashed. Do we have anything we can use? Can I possess that? I can't possess that. There is literally this tank on... The plane is in the water. The plane is in the pond. Um, did we do it? The plane is... Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have a gunfight right here. I'm going to possess this guy. Do I have a... 
Oh, somehow we managed to do it. I don't know how, but we managed to do it. You know what, Guido? I think that plane crashing into the water, I think that was a poor choice for them. Wow, really, Steve? Crashing a plane from 100 feet in the air was a bad idea? Well, color me surprised. Hey, everyone. It's Guido here. Man, Steve really doesn't know what he's doing, right? I just wish there was some way I could help. Help him not be an idiot. Wait, I got it! By liking the video and subscribing, you will be donating to the Make Steve Less of an Idiot Fund. Seriously, I think we're gonna need all the help we can get. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and hey, why not leave a comment? Thanks, adventurers! Try to enjoy the rest of this battle. Well, Guido, I did it. Somehow, I managed to destroy that army. Um, gotta say, it wasn't the most pretty of things. Like your face. Whoa, dude, calm down. Jeez, okay, I'm gonna take that as a joke. But yeah, things got pretty ugly. And I Again, like your face. <laughs> Guido, some people would say that you're purposefully insulting me to get us into a fight. And you know what, dude? I'm going to be the bigger man. I am going to be more mature than you. And say yes, if that's what you want, we shall do battle. Alright Guido, I tell you what, we will both fight for this little town here. I guess this is the closest place. We have a lot more options this time as well, like, what's a pirate tank? Yar! Takes over enemy units with a pirate hook, what? Okay, I want one of those. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, I'm giving you all of my secrets. Whoa, 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 wait a second dude, what is this? So in this, uh, classified section, there is a bear? A dog? Um, let me just see if this is actually a thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look at these. <laughs> okay, I tell you what, dude. I've had a change of heart. I am going to go all animals here. That's right, every single one of my soldiers is either going to be a bear or a dog. Also, this T-42 says it's a gigantic, super heavy Soviet tank that spawns anti-tank dogs. Now, that sounds like uh, an animal to me. The word dogs, that gives me permission to use those. Well, I've got my army as well, Steve. And there's not a single animal in sight. I have a barrage of tanks, as well as some planes in the sky. Can you see them? You will kind of have to crank your neck up there. All right, the battle is going down. Let's see my... Oh my gosh, look at my dogs. They're charging in. Oh my gosh, these... These bears can take so much damage. Look at them. That is amazing. Okay, where are my dogs? Are my dogs still alive? They've kind of just... No, I think all of my dogs have been wiped out. I think it's up to the... Uh, it's up to the bears here. Oh, no, look. There's a couple of pooches right here. Okay, I'm going to possess this guy. And I'm going to charge into battle as a dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I think the general ability of the dog is the fact that he can just tear down trees, apparently, with his head, that's right. But also the fact that he explodes as soon as he gets close to... Oh my gosh, whoa, he's like flying. Oh gosh, the dog has fallen over. He explodes as soon as he gets close to uh, the tanks of, of, your, uh, of my enemy. So let's see if I can actually find them. I think you were more positioned on this side. My doggy buddies are out here and they're blowing up. Oh, he's dodging and weaving. He's dodging and weaving past all the bullets here, all the rounds of your tank. Uh-oh, he's been hit though. Oh, he's been launched. No, friend. <laughs> Is he still good? He's still good. Oh my gosh. No, he's still getting shot. Okay. Oh, he hit a cactus. What we will do, dog, is we will wait for these tanks to approach and then we will jump out at them and blow them to smithereens. Okay, here we go. Let's move this way. My bears are inbound as well for helping me out. Okay, so they are just over this hill. If I can just get a little bit close, that would be excellent because the only power I have is to blow things up. So I definitely need to be close for that. Oh no, he's been hit again. He's been knocked down. Get in cover, get in cover. I need to repair again. Oh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Oh, target sighted. I can see a dude just over this hill. Yeah, as soon as I get there, I may have had too much lunch, but as soon as I get there, ow, don't do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm being blasted. Okay, let's try aim on here. Boom. Oh, does the bear just destroy them in one shot? Yes, he does. Oh my gosh. Why aren't we sending these bears into actual wars? Do you realize how quickly they would be if we if we just had these guys? Look at this. Ready? Bop. And oh, 
<gasps> the bears are the best. No wonder we're winning this battle. Good job, guys. Oh, Guido, my boy, you better believe it. Because me and my bear bros are marching in to finish the job. I am marching in to find the last of your tanks. And once I do, it is curtains for you. It is game over. Uh, unfortunately, we may not get to that part because I don't even see... I don't even see this, uh, this last tank anywhere. Hello? Oh! Apparently we did it! Now Guido, tell me, do you want to go through all of that again? Do you want to see all of your friends slaughtered? Um, I guess not. Then there is one thing you can do to resolve this conflict. Make me the first lieutenant. I want to be the first lieutenant! Give me the title! <laughs>